This is Dwayne with Headwater Seat Covers. Uh, so for those who don't know, uh, the new Rams, the new 2019 Rams, uh, has come out with two uh, different backrests. Uh, some of the backrests have a rounded uh, edge underneath the headrests. Then some of them uh, have a dip underneath the headrest. This video is uh, for bucket seats, uh, but with the dip in the seats. Okay, 2019 Dodge. We're going to prepare the seat for installation. So you have this carpeted flap that wraps under the back edge of the seat onto one of these elastics. So feel for where that elastic is under here. I will go all the way under here. See right underneath that piece of plastic right there. You're just going to push that forward here and release that up. Now we're going to take a look here. You'll have a metal bar that runs the full width. This is very sharp. We've already taken electrical tape and taped the top part and the bottom part of this before the installation just so we don't cut our hands and just so that doesn't cut our seat cover. Okay? We are going to grab the headrest covers and carefully open up that Velcro. You'll notice on the inside part of each piece, it's labeled what this is. The headrest abbreviation is H. Uh, we're going to take that, we're going to slide it over the headrest while the headrest is still on the vehicle with the extending tabs to the front. We're going to slide that over now. It's really, really tight, okay, right? See it compressing here? Just take that and saw it sideways back and forth, getting it down into position. Real key, that, that, that sawing motion back and forth to help let that down. Now we're going to release the headrest, and then what I'm going to do is just refine the backrest. Lift the headrest up. Depress both push buttons while you're lifting up at the same time. Headrest. Slides right out. You want to make sure you lift that up evenly and don't get it sideways, otherwise you could break those pieces of plastic. Okay, now we have the headrest off. We're going to work that. We want to form the headrest and line this thing up to the seams that are on the seat itself. To line the, the lines of this headrest cover, you want to line that right up with the seams that are on the seat. That's all looking good. Velcro is just tucked right underneath. Connect. They don't have to be so tight. Connect. There we go. Set that aside and work on the backrest. We're going to install the passenger top. As you look on the inside right again, all the pieces are labeled on the inside right. This one, PT. On the inside right, you notice there's no Velcros on the front edge of uh, the seat cover. We're going to use a couple of pieces of pinch welt to hold that on. So with each backrest, you should have a couple of these guys sent in with each. Okay, the hook Velcro going to go to the back side of the seat. So we'll do we'll slide this up and over. If you slide the seat all the way forward and then tip that backrest all the way ahead to give you a lot of room to work around behind it. So I'm going to just work it down each side just a little bit. It's real snug, very tight. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Again, like the headrest, what we want to do here is we want to line up the seams of the seat cover to the seams that are on your seat. I can feel right now, here's my outside seam. Here's the seam of that seat. I need to move this cover. I need to adjust it in a little bit. Look at how that smoothed that right out. Now we want to form the top of the seat cover to the top of the seat. I'm going to start on the inside edge over here. So we're going to pull that down. Get it pulled down, tuck it in on the inside edge there. It's a little piece of plastic underneath here. We're going to tuck that seat cover behind it. Now, we're going to tuck the seat cover fabric underneath the plastic of the headrest. You want to do that starting on the push button side over here so we don't damage that button. See? Button there, cover's underneath. Push button's here. I'm going to do this push button side. There we go. Done. Now, I'm going to go to the front of this. Okay, I'm going to pull down hard, get everything tightened up, make sure everything's fitting nice and snug up on top of the seat. That looks really nice. Now, 
we're going to carefully tuck this in to the back edge. I can feel that metal bar. I'm going to pull that back out. I can feel that metal bar, and what I want to do is I want to tuck this seat cover around that metal bar. So and basically you have to just push down on the seat bottom. That bar lies across the back of the seat, so I'm having to push the material down and slide it under the bar. Another reason why that thing is taped up, because right now I'd be a bloody mess by trying that. Okay, here's the metal bar that we have taped up. There's that material I was just tucking underneath it from the front edge of the seat cover. I'm gonna pull that out, nice and easy. I'm gonna get the whole thing down. There we go. Now we have the whole thing pulled out. You wanna make sure you have tape on both sides so that seat cover is not gonna come across that metal and get cut. Here's where these guys come into play. These little things are pinch weld. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cover, we're gonna wrap it up around that piece of metal, pulling it tight, and press one of these over the top of it. To do that, I'm gonna lean my head against, but I'm gonna pull this really hard. Both hands, pull that tight, I'm gonna push it up, and tuck it right behind that bar. Okay, tucked right behind that bar, that's holding it real nice. That thing just goes right over the top. How easy is that? Okay, the other side, pull hard. Tuck up, tuck inside, grab your piece of pinch weld. Put that thing right into place, right there. Okay, we're gonna install the passenger bottom. First thing you wanna do is just disconnect these Velcros. These buckles, are going to be hooked to the back of the seat and they're going to fasten the back edge of the seat cover and what that's going to do is keep your seat cover from scrolling around. So take those off, just set them behind the seat. I'm going to just gently remove the Velcros from the cover. Long Velcro is going to go to the front. This fuzzy strip is going to go to the back. Okay, we have an elastic to replace the one that we just removed from this. Uh, the long Velcro straps on the seat cover go to the front. So we're going to place that on. And just like all the rest of the seat cover, we're going to line up the seams of this seat cover to the seams that are on your seat here. Okay? Put that around. This is going to tuck behind the plastic right here. A little bit. You want to use extra caution when you're reaching your hands underneath the seat and routing these Velcros underneath the seat. Everything under the seat has grease on it. And every metal edge underneath there is really sharp, so really use caution when you reach your hands underneath. Okay, what we want to do here is we want to line up the seams of the seat cover to the seams that are on your seat. And as we're working around the front corners here, I'm going to work the fabric that's inside the, the seat cover. I'm going to work it to this outside edge. So see how that gets that nice and nice and round looking there? Now I'll take and work that all the way around the front of the seat and along the other side too. I'm just taking my thumbs and I'm pushing that material outward. It just helps that fit so much nicer. There we go. I'm going to tuck this back. I'm going to keep sweeping it back. Everything looks pretty good along the front. Okay, I'm going to carefully tuck this thing in. And we're going to go be underneath that metal bar that we had for the top. And just carefully tuck that in all the way along the outside. Here. We can leave that sit for now. We've got this nice and tucked in. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this Velcro and we're going to fold that thing in half lengthwise. So it's going to just stiffen that up just like a ruler. Okay, Right where this is sewn on is right where that Velcro has to go straight down the cover. Okay, And it'll appear down, down below. Okay, Likewise, the inside one, take this inside one, fold it in half. The inside one has a bigger gap to route under, and where these are going to go is this Velcro here is going to go at a 45 degree angle under the seat, and it's going to connect up to the back edge where that, uh, that loop Velcro is that we just tucked under. So, fold this in half, I'm going to tuck this guy right under, real easy tuck job, just follow the cloth, and you'll feel there's a big metal brace there, you can go right to the bottom of the cloth, and you're going to tuck that Velcro going to go right under. Okay, it's a good time too to uh, go ahead and put your elastic back over. 
your seat belt that we provided for you. And we'll lastly, or next, we're going to do the same thing with the folding of the Velcro in half. Okay. Then I'm going to route these things along the outside edge here. And then the outside edge here. What we want to do is we're routing these. We want to keep that all the way up towards the top of the seat. With the driver's seat being electric, lift that seat all the way up into the air. Okay, that'll free up all the controls. But this has to get routed where it's not interfering with any of the wires that are underneath the seat. So we're going to route this straight to the back edge. And as we get it to the back, we'll open it up. And this hook Velcro will stick to that loop Velcro on the back edge. Okay, so let's go ahead and poke it through. So we have this folded in half, stiff as a ruler. I'm going to take and look right down here. I'm going to look my way all the way back to the back edge. I can route that back. I'm going to move the seat ahead a little bit. I can just feel for that Velcro. Oh, there it is, right there. There's our Velcro right there. Now I can just temporarily just touch that Velcro to the loop Velcro that's on the back side of the seat, just to hold it there. We'll, we'll do the finish tightening up next. Pull out the inside one, fold it in half. Stick your head in here. Wow. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm sweeping my hand down the front of this seat cover while I'm pulling on this. I'm pull that tight. Okay. There's our side Velcro. And by where the seat belt is, we can just touch that in there. We're going for a big long one. edge okay you're going to reach in between the gap here feel for that velcro that we tucked down on the outside edge you're just going to pull that thing right through look at my hand make sure i don't have any grease on it now i'm going to take my hand forward and slide it down the outside edge of the seat here tighten that up i'm going to take that velcro press it right to there these guys these buckles are going to keep your seat cover from squirreling around so we're going to go right into the nice middle edge right here underneath the seat Clicked onto there, right up to the back edge. Nice metal edge right here. Maybe clicked underneath. I'm going to move this one over just a little bit. Here. That's clicked underneath. Now I'll take my scissors and trim. So when you're going to trim, pinch your fingers where you're going to trim, pull it away from the seat cover, trim the excess, put it back on the seat cover. Okay, we're going to connect up the, uh, the elastics. Got to kind of feel around underneath there for where those guys were hooking up. They seem to go a little bit to the inside. Hook that one. Take them forward. Hook that one. They're both hooked up. Lastly, we're going to pull down on this seat cover pretty good. And we're going to just press this hook Velcro right into that fuzzy carpet. All right. Back installation. Okay, we're going to install the console lid. So you have the letter L that's printed on the inside, back right corner. Just know that this big cutout where the latch is goes to the front. Um, you're going to open those Velcros up, place that lid cover on. When it's down and the Velcros open, lift that up. I usually use my body and lean into it to hold it. I've got this side connected already. The best way to connect these is to hold with one hand here, so I'm pulling tight. You can really pull on these. Pull tight here, get it started, and then right up the way, right here. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna surface prep the side Velcros with rubbing alcohol. The way to do that is you are going to fold that Velcro in and you see where that thing's gonna lay. Move it back out of the way and then you're gonna take this and really scrub hard. Scrub really hard on the plastic. While it's wet, wipe it dry. What that'll do is just removes all that residue. So you're going to scrub it while it's wet, wipe it dry. Okay? From there, I'm just going to take this Velcro, reposition that back a little bit. We're just going to take that Velcro, we're going to peel off the protective backing. We're going to just, you don't have to put much pressure at all in that. We're just going to pull that right in, press it right to it. And that should hold. 
if this is not sticking, if it peels up and it comes off of there, you have to stop and re-clean the area. Sometimes you need to use soapy water. Really clean them with soapy water. And, uh, and then go with the uh, rubbing alcohol. But I'll continue on through these. Um, that lid cover should fit just like this though, guys. It should just be perfect. should not be a wrinkle in it. 